cries like a diamond, shine under pressure. Oh, it's time to fire on up. Oh, it's time to fire on up. Pound on your chest like there's no tomorrow. Just play the game right, no one can follow. Oh, it's time to fire on up. Tuesday, Christy and I are about to head to, head to class, to do class, head to the gym to do the class workout. Uh, we are babysitting a, another puppy. And first things first, a tired dog is a good dog. So we wore both of them out this morning. They were wrestling around a little bit, but I think they'll chill out once we leave. And then when we get back, we'll wear them out again. Milo, Waldo, Waldo, Milo. Good buddy. Go. Hi. Hi. Bye, crazy things. Love you both. He's cute, but he's crazy. What is today? The seventh? Uh, yeah. This was December 7th, we're seven days into our challenge, and it's already been hugely motivating for me. Seven days in, I think I'm at 1,400 calories, 1,400 sit-ups, and 1,400 box step-ups. So our goal for the month of December was 2,000 of each, but we're definitely not gonna stop when we get there. It's just gonna be kind of an AMRAP, but it is, um, it's held me accountable. I've been doing like two or 300 every morning just to start. I'm definitely doing more than I would be without this. And on top of that, we're still doing class. I'm still doing normal squatting and all that stuff. So it's just a little bit of a bonus to keep us keep us honest during the month of December. What makes it so motivating? Like, why is it different? Well, I'm also winning, so that's nice. And I want to keep that. I think just having a goal and then having something on paper to look at makes it much easier to stay accountable. Uh, and knowing that if I skip a day, it's going to put me behind. And just the satisfaction of kind of having something to check off, as simple as that is, is enough to sometimes just hold you accountable. So whether it's a buddy, a program, that you're following a challenge just having something to hold you accountable especially during the months when it's a little bit more challenging to be motivated makes it a little bit easier to stick with your routine or even kind of up that up the goal was 2000 what's the new goal the new goal is probably two or three hundred cals sit-ups and step-ups a day at least and then we're also we'll finish uh, kind of our tradition has been to do chad on Christmas, so we'll kind of do Christmas with Christy's family normally in the morning, and then we'll go to the gym and we'll do a thousand box step ups with a 20 pound, is it 20 for me? 45. Oh, that's right, so 45 pound plate in a backpack or rock pass for me, and what's yours, 20, 25? I use the same rock. You use a 45 too? Yeah. Are you serious? I usually do. Maybe also I'm wrong. I'll have to look into that. We're gonna look into that. Stay tuned. So we'll end with a thousand. So we will easily hit, I don't know, whatever we do, we'll keep well above 2,000 and we'll end the month, December 31st, with uh, an extra thousand box step ups weighted with a 45 pound backpack. We just finished class. It was a really good one. It was a sub seven minute workout for me and about seven and a half minutes for Patrick. It was actually harder than I thought it was gonna be. Just a little bit more taxing on the shoulders and a little bit quicker. So now that we also got some really good snatch work in, we're gonna hit one more Metcom piece with some rowing, some burpee pull-ups, some push press, some lunges, and then we're gonna hit a little deadlift accessory and posterior, and we'll call it a day. This one should be hard because it is gonna be interval style. So we're gonna have a set amount of work that's a buy-in, and we're gonna have to get to the pull-up bar and get as many burpee pull-ups as we can on the end of the workout. These are my favorite. It's a love-hate relationship because it's just that high intensity, high interval training, which just really makes you work and go to the red zone. Those lights, camera action when I step into the limelight. Easily adapted to the high life. Dress to impress like it's prime night. And when you live in top shelf, you know you gotta set the bar high. Had the same dreams since we was kids. Big gyms, big cars, and even bigger cribs. Never thought that it would happen just the way it did. Fast forward that now, it's just the way we live. That's good food and drinks. My mood makes you think that this life's made for a king. 
We did some snatches in class, which is really fun. And I have not been snatching or cleaning really very much at all. It actually felt pretty good. Um, I got to 255 for a single without a ton of warm up, which I have not hit in a while. What'd you get up to, Christy? I hit 160 for a single, so I was Hi, really girl. happy. Yeah, I don't even know if I snatched that at the games. <laughs> Workout in the books. It's nice to feel good. Yesterday, I told you guys I hit 355 pound deadlift without a belt. That's unheard of for me, so that was really cool. And then today, I snatched 160, where, like I mentioned earlier, I don't even think I snatched 160 at the game. So sometimes when you take the pressure off and you just kind of go in to have fun, it changes just how you feel. And it feels good to feel good, right? I mean, we all have our bad days, but we all have our good days. And I think more important than ever, it's important to appreciate the good days because you don't get them all the time, especially when, I've been, when you've been doing it as long as I have. Sorry, I gotta switch hands. So, especially when you've been doing it as long as I have, like you don't always get good days. So you wanna make sure you appreciate them. So it was a great session. I had a really good workout with Patrick. I took him down and then we got some good interval work in. Workouts check, coaching check, time to get a little bit more work done. Some programming, some fun things like that. And then we're gonna go weigh out the dogs some more. It was a great day. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We, uh, for the snatches, we hit a nine minute EMOM, three reps from the high hang, two reps from the above the knee, three singles from the floor. For the workout, it was two rounds, 24, 20 cal echo bike, seven bar muscle ups, 24 overhead squats, seven bar muscle ups for two rounds. It was good. See if you guys can go sub seven. Have a great one. Don't forget, smash that like button. Drop a comment below on anything else you guys want to see or anything you enjoyed in this video. We look forward to bringing you more content. Stop it.